Hello everybody, Andrea Maeski here with Dental Health Tutoring. I've been getting a lot of questions lately about um, the dental hygiene programs and the dental hygiene schools in general, but this could work for dental assisting too. So a lot of people ask me about their school and say if I've heard about it, if it's a good school, if it's a good program, if it's a bad school, and what to do. And I may feel a little bit differently about this than somebody else because I did take the dental hygiene program twice. Um, not because I failed, I feel like I do have to mention that even though I talk about my whole story in another video, so be sure to watch that. But because my first school went bankrupt. But it was because I went to a non-accredited school. So at that time, if it's a non-accredited school, then they can shut down at any time. That's pretty much what it means. Now, at least where I live, there we're not allowed to have non-accredited programs or schools anymore. So they either had to meet the appropriate guidelines to become accredited or they were shut down. So a lot of schools were shut down for dental hygiene, for dental assisting, everything. So if you're looking to pick a school right now, pick one or a program, whatever, pick a dental hygiene school or a dental assisting school that is accredited. That's the main thing that I can say because it will make it easier for you in the long run. If you have to go out of town, it will be worth it because if where you live, if they're non-accredited, they can shut down at any time. They literally can. You don't get your money back when that happens because you took the responsibility of going to a non-accredited school. But they don't tell you this, right? When you sign the contract, they don't tell you that they can shut down any time and too bad, so sad if you don't get your money's worth, right? Um, plus, you usually have to take another clinical exam. So hands-on, in-person exam in front of a judge, two or three or seven. Who would want that stress? Not me, no thank you. So if you can help it, go to an accredited school. That's the best advice that I can give you. And not one school, in my opinion, is better than another. Every student from every school will tell you they had the worst school ever because they felt their teachers were too hard on them. They felt they had too much homework. They felt that they had to work too hard in clinic. But newsflash for you, every school is like that. Every school has the bad teachers. Yes, I said the word, bad teachers. Every school has great teachers. Every school has hard classes. It depends who's teaching them. Every school, you need to get a certain grade to pass. Every school will have those awful students that put everybody down. Every school will have amazing students. Every school, you have to do clinic, you have to find patients, you have to do this, you have to do that. So not one school is better than another, in my opinion. When I was looking for a school the second time around, um, I... There were two schools, I think maybe three, but two schools that just came highly recommended because what I did was I looked at the board exam scores of the schools. If, if a school scored really low, I'm not saying it's the school's fault, but I'm not going to go to that school. I would rather pick a school where all of the students passed or had a high passing rate for the board exam because it does depend a little bit on your teacher. If you don't, or teachers, I should say, if you don't study for the national board exam, even if you went to the best school ever, you're not going to pass it. But that is one thing that I did look at. Plus, I just wanted to go to a school that was easy for me to get to as well because I, I moved out of town. Um, I was in Toronto the second time I took dental hygiene and I wanted a school that was not too far, um, but that I, I had a good, not experience, but a good um, feeling about because I am all about if I walk into a place and something feels off, I don't like it. So I did that with my schooling. So I'm not saying you should do that, but I'm just saying that's what I did. So if you're saying, okay, I like this one and I like this one, book an appointment to talk to the program director. Don't be afraid to do that. If you walk in and the school's a dump, you probably don't wanna go there, right? I'm not saying that the school has to look amazing and have no dust on you know, the furniture or something, but if 
you go there and you just don't have a good feeling, then maybe pick the other school. That's what I did. Um, but don't think that one school is better than another. But I can say that if you guys look at the, the board exam um, results for those schools in, say, the town, the city that you want, pick the highest one and go from there. It can't hurt, right? Right? So I hope this helped. Please comment below with any questions and make sure to hit subscribe because I am doing a lot more of these videos. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I should mention if you are a student and need help with tutoring, check out my website. I have the link below because I do tutor um, dental hygiene and dental assisting students in school, but I also prep for the board exam. So I can tell you guys exactly what you need to know. I have a 99.4% success rate. So I can help you guys. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.